My crepe myrtle has quarter sized white patches on the branches. Is this anything to worry about? I thought it may be because of all the rain we have had. I had thoughts about cutting the branches back to the knuckles. And this is from Terry. Terry, that'd be crepe murder. Yeah, it's murder. I'm not sure that's legal. That's crepe murder. Cutting it back yeah. to the knuckles. Yeah. All right, crepe uh, murder. So, what do you think? The white patches? I, again, if we had a picture, we could definitely tell you white patches. Could be scale. Crepe myrtle bark scale, maybe? Because it actually, you know, you can see it in patches, you know, on some of those uh, branches and stems. So that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Because everything else, you know, of course, if it was black, we'd say black sooty mode, and that'd be because of aphids or the crepe myrtle bark scale. But I'm thinking that's what that is. Yeah. And I wouldn't cut, all, cut it off, you know, just uh, try to control the scale. And right. right now, what would you recommend? Is the, the uh, in metacloprid, of course. You know, you can put that in the ground late April, May, you know, into July. You know, so yeah. systemic, you know, roots to take it up. And, of course, that will help, you know, with the scales. Yeah. And a lot of people have been treating it because the pressure from the scales has pretty much gone down a little bit, yeah. you know, the past few years. Yeah. Because there are people treating, you right. know, for it. But, I mean, that's what I would do. But yeah. without having a picture, I mean, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Right. Yeah, you got to so. send pictures. Right. Yeah. Pictures help. <laughs> right. Yeah, and cutting it back to the knuckles. I actually, you know, somebody actually told me this. If you come back to the knuckles and they have scales, maybe you eliminate some of the scales. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. But I just think that's a bad practice, though. Well, you know, I've seen research that's said that if you prune crepe myrtles very, very heavily, they'll have a lot of blooms on them. If you don't prune them at all, They'll have a lot of blooms on. Right. So, so there you have it. I tend to go on the don't prune them very much. Yeah, I don't you prune know. mine. Train them at all. They are a tree. Yeah. I like a crepe pearl to be a tree, not a bush. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. To subscribe, click below.